continue. Well, this was from earlier. The first thing that moved into Sun Devil Stadium was the dust and they had high winds in excess of 40, even 50 miles an hour or so down in the East Valley. So first it was the dust, then a little bit of rain from what we hear from Julia down there. And then the lightning is really why the game went on delay. Farther south, boy, it was really coming down in Arizona City uh, tonight uh, with uh, heavy rain, lots of cloud to ground lightning there as well. Uh, the uh, uh, the was well, this actually from the station or is this from down at? Oh yeah, that is the, that is from down Arizona City. Sorry, it almost looked like the back of the TV station there for a second. Uh, and so Arizona City got hit very hard. We had some rainfall reports in that area of one to two inches of rain. And uh, I believe we're going to go to the maps now if we can and show you that. Uh, oh, well, we've got the, the that's our live shot, isn't it? Oh, OK, there we go. I love that. There we go. Live shot. It shows you how it's still pretty windy out there. There's our flags in the breeze. We didn't get much rain here. We had some very, very strong winds. And if we can show those weather maps, yes, I'd love to do that. Here we go. These are the wind gusts uh, that scene was talking about 72 miles an hour uh, at Sky Harbor Airport, 56 at Luke Air Force Base, and we had a 53 mile an hour wind gust at Mesa's Falcon Field and 62 mile an hour wind gust up at Deer Valley. Very strong wind gusts and still pretty windy out there tonight, especially uh, in central Phoenix on the west side of town. 37 mile an hour winds currently sustained out at uh, Buckeye. So you think it's over? Mm, maybe not so much. This is the chance for rain as we go through the next couple of hours. It is going to go downhill into the early morning hours, but then 7 a.m., 9 a.m., 11 a.m., those chances for precipitation are going to pop right back up. And that's why our first alert is going to continue through the night into tomorrow for the possibility of isolated storms that could once again contain some severe weather. Well, Brianna Whitney went out to chase some weather and some stuff that the weather was doing. And Brianna, you did not get very far, did you? Uh, Royal, I have not seen something like this really in the five and a half years since I've been reporting here. I want to actually just take our viewers on the journey from five minutes leaving our station to five minutes down the road because what we have seen is pretty incredible. We're going to start here. We're at 7th Ave in Highland. Now, luckily, a good Samaritan just pulled this massive, massive traffic sign out with a chain to pull it into this parking lot so it wasn't blocking traffic on 7th Avenue. I mean, take a look. These are one of these giant signs. I've never seen this before. I, here I am standing by it for size comparison. This is huge. It is metal. It is extremely heavy. It was literally ripped out of the ground by the wind that was here on 7th Avenue earlier. And then it was in the middle of the street. We had some good Samaritans who put out flares and were actually directing traffic for some time just to try to keep people safe. Now, Adam, if we could walk this way and bear with us, you guys, because it is pouring rain now out here. This is just off 7th Avenue. As you know, it's a main thoroughfare in Phoenix. The power is out on most of this street. So the problem that police were even facing once they got here to the street is the fact that you couldn't see anything and they were trying to direct traffic. Normally, 7th Ave is full of street lights. You see them, it's easy, but when it's wet and slick on the roads, plus just complete darkness, that made seeing that pole on the ground even worse. And that's why all those Good Samaritans came together to try to kind of mediate the situation. So if we wanna show you here, Adam, if you can just go out there, um, it's pouring here on 7th Ave, but you can tell there is no light at all. All we're seeing is the brights from the cars that are driving by. The roads are pretty slick, luckily, no pull in the street as of now, but still you can see it here. Just a ton of lightning. I want to show you guys some video though, because just two minutes after we pulled out of the station here, 7th Ave in Missouri, we ran into 7th Ave in Camelback. I saw a fire truck zooming by, sirens on. I looked to my right and you can see it here. This palm tree was on fire. It looked like it had probably be, been hit by lightning. It was so windy in the area that you could see the flames and the embers blowing and that had created these small little almost brush fires in the parking lot at 7th Ave and Camelback in that Fry's grocery store parking lot. So all of a sudden people are out of their cars. They're looking, they're filming it. Phoenix Fire got there real quickly. They started with the brush fires, then tended to the palm tree that was blowing those embers to try to get the source of it. And they did a really good job um, putting that out as quickly as they could. So then we thought we were going to South Mountain where there was, alleged, there was a fire that was reported there at the top where the TV towers were. We didn't make it there because we got to this area and that's where the massive traffic pole was down. So we got out, kind of tried to see the area and that's what happened. So 
I mean, we have not made it five minutes from the station, and that is how crazy tonight's monsoon storm is. Luckily, from what we've seen, Phoenix Fire has acted quickly. Good Samaritans got out. We had the guy that brought his truck here with the chain just to help pull the traffic pull out. And then the police left because they are spread thin tonight, both Phoenix police and uh, Phoenix Fire. And that's just here in Phoenix. I'm sure all over the valley, you've got first responders, law enforcement officers who are trying to get from call to call to call. Just as we've been here probably for the last half hour or so, we've seen at least four ambulances and fire, tra fire trucks go by with their sirens on, clearly going to another emergency. So it is obviously best to stay inside, but our first responders are doing everything they can to keep people safe in this weather. So we're still here on 7th Ave. We're not very far from the station, but just so much monsoon activity going on here. Uh, you guys stay with us. We're going to be monitoring it through the 10, but uh, for now, I'm going to send it back to you all in the studio. Brianna, thank you very much. And we were watching uh, those firefighters try to put out that tree yeah. fire with the hose. It was the winds were so strong yeah. it was blowing the water it was all over the place. Impossible. Yeah, and it's so dark out yeah. there. We're going to get to all the power outages in just a bit. Uh, great work out there, Brianna. We're going to go to Julia Lopez. She is live in Tempe at the ASU game in Tempe that came to a screeching halt because of this weather. to rain here in Tempe at Mountain America and it just starting to come down a little bit longer than it normally is and um, we're still at a delay right now with the rain and if you want to take a look at what's going on live at the stadium uh, bands have already like gone up and it doesn't seem like they're going to be coming back down there's just a few that are still around here but what a crazy weather day here in Tempe and joining me now is Brad Denny and um, he has covered Arizona State for many years have you seen anything like it with that dust storm coming through at halftime not to this extent nothing that would uh, that would uh, cause a uh, weather delay in fact, the only weather delay in my 12 years was in uh, Te Lubbock, Texas uh, in, back in 2017. So this is in uncharted waters. The next update that we're supposed to get on the game status is at 1020, so about 10 minutes from now. So uncharted waters in terms of like whether this game could be called or if it just might, we might see a, bit, a little bit later kickoff because we're still seeing some lightning strikes in the area. Yeah, anywhere you look around the stadium, there's lightning going around. It doesn't seem like it's that close, but it is definitely visible. So I'm not sure... It's what, eight miles, they say it has to be clear for 30 minutes and yep. further away than eight miles? Yeah, the, there needs to be no lightning strikes within eight, mile, uh, eight miles of the stadium for a sustained 30-minute period. Now, we're still seeing a lot of lightning, whether that's within the eight miles, we really don't know. But uh, the rain has started to pick up. Uh, the wind's kicking up. It had died down for a little bit now, but it's uh, ramping back up. So we'll see probably and get an official word here in about the eight, or eight minutes or so. And I can't imagine it's starting at 1030 the second half. So, um, but yeah, they're getting a shot of the dust coming through the stadium. Um, I've never seen anything like that. I thought it was fog at first or a little bit of rain. And then everybody was like, oh man, there's just so much dust coming through. Um, obviously not good for the fans and not good for the players either. No, and it's a not, it kind of put a damper on the start of the Kenny Dillingham era with the Sun Devils. You know, there's a lot of excitement coming into this game and just, you know, the, the Sun Devils typically take the field to Thunderstruck by ACDC. And this is taking, <laughs> taking this a little too far, a little too literally right now. The new Kenny Dillingham era starts out with a bang. This is absolutely crazy. Definitely uh, raining right now, which is terrible because I just did my hair today. I washed my hair. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I'm going to send it back to you guys. We don't know. We don't have an update just yet, but we'll probably know in about 10, 15 minutes whether or not they're going to try to uh, start this game again. Julian Brad with his beautiful flowing locks tonight. I was going to say, I've never seen Brad without a hat. Of yes, all nights, well, not to wear a hat. This was the night to not wear it, so we can see that hair flowing. Always appreciate